Hello everyone, I'm here today with a long-awaited ledge trapping guide. Ledge trapping is an essential part of Smash Ultimate, and it can be a great way to get lots of damage on your opponent or even take a stock. Peach has some of the best ledge trapping in the game, so let's go through how to ledge trap as Peach. First, let me go over a brief definition of ledge trapping for those of you who don't know. Ledge trapping happens when your opponent's hanging on the ledge, and you're standing above them, preventing them from getting stage control. You're basically trying to keep the opponent in the corner by using any tools you have. In this guide, I will be going over Peach's ledge trapping tools, some general ledge trapping strategies, and I even have a few tutorials mixed in to keep things interesting. First, I will be providing a detailed overview of all of Peach's options, starting with those to catch opponents hanging on the ledge. When the opponent decides to continue hanging on the ledge even after their invincibility runs out, you can catch them with aerials, including down air and forward air. Two variants of forward smash also hit below the ledge, and those are the tennis racket and the golf club. The frying pan does not hit below the ledge for some reason. Down smash has a janky multi-hit hitbox that can catch a lot of opponents off guard. Down tilt hits below the ledge and can combo into a few moves. And Peach has a pretty solid ledge trump with her back air, so don't be scared to go for this. Alright, let's discuss Peach's options for opponents that decide to get up. I'll be starting with Head Height Float. To do this, you'll want to pretend that the opponent has already gotten up, and float so that the bottom of Peach's dress is even with the top of their head. Doing this puts you in a great position to catch a lot of get-up options, including neutral get-up and jump. This setup gives Peach access to all of her aerials and a great amount of airspeed. This allows Peach to clear and punish get-up attack, and you can also quickly fade back to roll distance to punish. If you aren't quick enough to react to the opponent's option, and they decide to shield or spot dodge after, a head height float down air will catch this. Adding in turnips to this setup, and you have access to quicker and easier punishes, as well as some pretty nasty combos. However, like every other ledge setup in the game, it is not unbeatable. The opponent can beat this out with a quick rising aerial, they can stall at the ledge, they can time their get up to avoid your aerials, etc. The next option I want to cover is ground float at roll distance. You can do this while facing forward if you want access to neutral air or forward air, or you can face backwards if you want access to back air. This again covers a lot of options. You can drift in and out of your opponent's attack range, you can quickly double jump to catch the jump get up, and of course you have roll covered. This setup gives you access to Peach's safe aerials to pressure your opponent with. Remember, the goal is to use Peach's aerials to keep your opponent in the corner for as long as possible so you rack up damage. With this setup, like the last one, you can quickly transition into shield pressure if the opponent decides to get up and shield. All of Peach's aerials can be safe on shield, but they have to be spaced properly, and you have to take into account the opponent's options out of shield. For instance, if they get up, they might try to shield and mash grab or an out of shield option, and you want to be sure to space around this. Continued shield pressure can lead to a grab, or if you're lucky, a shield break. One of my favorite options to do with this setup is to drift forward and nair, but continue holding float and drift back. This allows you to both pressure your opponent's shield and cover roll. If you don't want to bother with shield pressure, down smash pokes and kills. Let's make things more interesting by adding turnups to our ledge setups. I first want to point out that you can throw turnips at your opponent to your heart's content while still remaining in a position to ledge trap, therefore you can edge guard without going off the stage. One cool setup, used by Samsora especially, is done by doing a short hop item throw up, followed by another turnip throw down to get two turnips active at the same time. Since Peach holds turnips in front of her, you can also short hop Z drop them off the stage. They will fall slower and have a better chance of catching your opponent. If you want to go super advanced with your turnip ledge tactics, Pluto has a super cool video called Turnip Trumping, which I'll have linked below. I will now detail some of Peach's on-stage turnip setups. I personally think turnips are Peach's best tool for ledge trapping. When you are ledge trapping, you will almost always have time to pull a turnip due to you having to wait for the opponent to recover back to the stage. Often you can even throw several turnips off the stage and still have one pulled and ready for a ledge trap. Overall, they expand Peach's ability to do damage and cover multiple options at once. For instance, we can add turnips into the float at roll distance setup mentioned earlier. The turnips give you an additional pressure option, allowing you to hit your opponent when they are farther away from you. They can also combo and improve your damage output. A similar thing can be done with the head height float setup. 
In both of these setups, you are floating, so while you are holding a turn up, you can still do aerials. In order to throw or drop the turn up, keep in mind that you must drop float. Another setup I would like to mention is just repeatedly pulling turn ups and throwing them up at the ledge. I can't remember where I got this one from, but uh, maybe it'll come to me. Doing this can discourage your opponent from jumping and it can effectively pressure, neutral get up, and get up attack. It makes these two options a lot harder, and if chosen, the opponent is going to have to pick a predictable option to avoid the turnip, such as a shield or a roll. Throwing turnips preemptively can act to shut down an option that Peach might not be able to cover herself. For instance, if you throw turnips up at the ledge like before, and then fade back to cover roll distance, you effectively have all or most of the ledge options covered by either Peach herself or the turnips. In general, the more you have covered, the more predictable your opponent's option is going to be to try to get around your setup. So be creative with all your turnip setups. Speaking of shutting down specific options, Z dropping the turnip out of a short hop is a frame 4 way to place a hitbox directly where you are. Aside from jab, this is the fastest way Peach can react to an opponent's getup, if you are in range of course. As an added bonus, this can combo and even kill at higher percents by comboing into a forward smash. This is the key component of potentially my favorite ledge option as Peach. And this is running up to the ledge, short hop Z dropping the turn up, and then fading back throwing a hitbox out at roll distance. This does a great job at covering all of the standard get up options. I will now detail a setup that Samsora uses frequently. This involves turning around with a turn up in your hand with ground float, dropping float, Z dropping the turn up, and then catching it with a short hop forward air at roll distance. Here is a mini tutorial for how to do this. First, you ground float and drop float. Then, immediately after you let go of X, you press Z to drop the turn up. Then, immediately start holding your control stick in the opposite direction and buffer a short hop forward air. This may take some practice to get the hang of. I hope I have given you enough turn up setups to work with. But here are some more random ones. Using the late hitbox of Nair can trap your opponent offstage in a very awkward position, allowing you to hit a kill move like a side special. As you can see, I learned this the hard way while playing on stream yesterday. Also just a random fact, Saturn extends the hitbox on Peach's smash attacks when placed at the ledge. Use this information as you wish. And finally, I, I guess I have to make this tutorial. People kept asking me for it. I, don't, I can't imagine why. It's really not that good. To do this, you'll want to ground float, and then drop float by letting go of jump. Within 3 frames of letting go of jump, you input the side special. And then immediately after inputting the side special, you start holding in the opposite direction on your control stick. This can be used to bait, get up attack, or roll, and then you can land a smash stack immediately after. But if you think your opponent is falling for this more than once, you're crazy. The last thing I will be going over in this video is general ledge trapping strategies. One piece of advice that I have is to always mix up your setups. If you're going to go for a head height float one time, then do ground float the next time, so your opponent can't figure out how to get through. But if they do, be sure to keep in mind how they got through your setup. This will be useful later. For instance, this Bowser Jr. was able to get through my setup with a get up attack followed by a roll. The next time, I think he's more likely to choose this option when I pressure the ledge in a similar way, so I step back and forward smash. I will now tie everything together by showing you how to use Peach's main game plan, bait and punish, when ledge trapping. You basically want to bait a ledge option and then punish it. Very easy. Here's my example. I start by throwing a turnip down to pressure the ledge with this Mario. A Mario misses the ledge and the turnip forces him back off the stage. So I pretend like I'm going to do the same setup again. Ideally this would cover neutral get up, get up attack, and jump. The Mario picks what looks to be the best option and rolls. Instead of throwing the turnip, I fade back allowing me to punish the roll and land a kill. That is all I got for this guide. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned a thing or two. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Apparently a lot of people that watch me aren't subscribed. And I'll see you in the next video. Quick outro.